Pascal. Very... like... Clara. <laughs> Good boy, Pascal. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Welcome, Outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Yes. Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a suitable name. Ew. Pascal. Good. I am called Name. Oh, look. Pascal is greeting you. It's just... his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparog. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Sparog earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. Everywhere you look, there are robots that have lost the ability to fun- Hey! Big sister! This is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Ready to jam.
say yes. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Ready to lose your son? You can fight it, or rock with it! Uh, here it is. This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. It's okay. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the core in a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So... I'm going to try to fix them all. Thank you... for understanding me. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except... There are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. But I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. Thank you. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Sparg and Pascal will get worried. We're back! Welcome back! Return! Clara! Rivet! Fail! You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's Automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Ear. Assessing. Assessment complete. Conclusion. Search results cannot be narrowed down any further. The three automatons that match the keyword descriptions are located in Voltamerville, Rivet Town, and Forge Town. All three of these mining towns have been abandoned, and no automatons have been discovered in these three sites recently. It appears that the trail has gone cold yet again. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet! Fire! Fire! Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Back, 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 back to Rivet! 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 Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still not functioning properly? What's wrong, Pascal? Watch out, Clara. Failure. 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 Pascal? No. He's running away. Clara. Pascal. Did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog. Please, don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong, please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. shirk my responsibilities. I'll do it. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel... 
a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svarov. Mr. Svarov, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarag anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svarag. So, let's go. Fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? Request approved. Reanalyzing. Reanalysis complete. The original assessment stands. This is a fragmentum creature and is thus extremely dangerous. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No! It's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Hostility detected. Commence elimination protocols. Oh no! It seems to think we're its enemies as well. Need a teach soul. Answer me. Turn it up. Lance at the ready. Pretty good for Eve. Time for a shot. Nap time. I'm on guard. Huh. <laughs> Just a little something. Ready to lose yours? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Lance at the ready. Lance the blaze. Lance forward. Test. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Turn it up. Zero points. Not next time. Three. I'm on. Uh -huh. Robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella's shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Connection. Complete. Testing. Verifying. All modules. Working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone. Finally. Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to normal. Uh, no. There's one more thing. We still need to find out why Pascal was stealing parts in the first place. Pascal? Could you please... Uh... Explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting. Parts. Returning to... Workshop. Workshop? 
Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Been waiting. Repair. Follow, please. Pascal. Ah, Pascal ran off. He went in that direction. I think he wants us to follow him. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered, the light here, why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But, and why? You can fight it, or rock with it! I'm at the test. S.A.S. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Naughty shot. <laughs> questions. For example... Right. Pascal is doing this out of goodwill, but still, stealing is always wrong, and Pascal needs to learn that. Let's take a look around again. I'm still not finished here. Rivet Town, live, Clara! Tour! Feel free, please! These pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like Geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? <laughs> this must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor, does hmm. Hey! Those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Huh? What's this? A diary? Wow. Such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? Hmm. Pascal. 
So that's what happened. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again, from the start? That is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned. So, it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. At least, that's my theory. Still, that doesn't explain why Pascal is being treated as a fragmentum creature. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big sister! Clara! Tour! Enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts. Ready. Continue. Or, wait. Instruction, next. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big sister, Clara, Rivet Town, resident. Pascal, protect everybody. I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, all right? Pascal Affirmative! Be good! Wait. Let's go back to Mr. Sparrow and talk about what to do next. Mr. Svarov, but there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. I see. Has Mr. Svarog ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. Actually, I do. Contrary to popular belief, improbable events that are easily disregarded frequently result in catastrophes. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Svarov always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. So, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and metal information are removed. However, once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand, but I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without 
damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence? Do you know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara? No, I can't just give up. There has to be another way. Maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core, clear the redundant data, and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then, we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around. And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overridden by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting Cyclera. The challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps she can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Both have provided their solutions. Svarog thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution, and then persuade the other person. Uh, what should we do with Pascal? I figured he'd say that, but I'd like to know why you went with Mr. Svarog's solution. I understand that, but I think that anyone with emotions should be treated with dignity, regardless of whether they're a human or robot. I'm confident that I can prevent Pascal from stealing and harming others. However, I respect your point of view. I admit I might not be as rational as Mr. Svarog, and don't think things through as much. So, could you please talk more about your point of view? I'd like to hear some different perspectives. I said I will stay with Pascal until the end, but I'm actually scared too. I can't imagine it. How will I feel when I have to face Pascal after being forgotten so many times? What if I feel like giving up? What happens then? Perhaps it's best to let go now, while my feelings for Pascal aren't as strong. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. This decision is much harder than I expected, 
but I finally made my mind up. If you feel it's necessary, we'll do what Mr. Svarok suggested. But until you're sure, I'll keep trying to find a way to save Pascal's emotions and memories. Tell me when you're ready to make a decision. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Already! Arrive! Target! Waiting! Further instructions! Accessing. Preparing to back up all core module data. Please, Mr. Sparrow. Backup complete. Initializing formatting. Waiting! Birth instruct. Wait for in die. And Pascal. Clara. Thank, thank you. Clara Pascal. Very happy. Finish. <laughs> Let's get out of here. It's getting late. Where to now? Good.
getting late. Where to now? Come around and have a look. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. 
Adventure Astral. The losers, you can fight it or rock with it. I'm asking questions. Just a little something. Think nothing. For the theater of the mediocre. Come on. S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Zero points. Pretty good. Turn it up.
research history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Just a little something. Okay. Thanks a lot. Ready to lose your you can fight it. Or rock with it. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. of truth and falsehood. Pretty good. Turn it up. My turn. <laughs> Test. Someone a lesson. Answer me. Zero points. This song keeps up. You can fight it. Or rock with it. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you. No. Test. SAS knowledge. The measure of truth. Wanna go 
take some pictures? You're here! Come on! Thank you. 